Oh, hi, I'm Lorraine Herring and I am your professor for Psychology 101 and I wanted to give you um, a, a video to help uh, navigate Blackboard for you. Even though this is an in-person class, um, you're either in my section that meets at 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday, Thursday or in my section that meets at 12.30 on Tuesday, Thursday. We are using Blackboard for uh, several aspects of the class, um, including quizzes. So I wanted to make sure to give you a, a video on how to access that so we don't have to take up a lot of a lot of class time. Um, so the first thing you want to do, um, you want to go to our home page um, and click the login button. Type in your username and password. Um, you won't have access to our course until the first day on Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning. You'll have access to the course shell. Um, but I wanted you to have this video so you can kind of get a sense of what to expect. Um, you're going to see a menu that looks something like this. Yours is going to be a little bit different because you don't have access to some of these fun things. Um, because um, I have two sections, I've merged them together into a single course shell um, for um, ease of access for everybody. But because of that, if you're in the section that got merged into the other one, you're not going to be able to see your course under My Courses. So I know if you've been here for a while, you might be used to accessing Blackboard right here under My Courses. Um, you can give that a shot, but if you can't see the course, you want to go here. So let's just pretend we all need to go here, the little B for Blackboard. We click here on the B, and again, don't be alarmed. Um, you don't have anywhere near this many courses, I hope. Um, these are just mine from um, various semesters. So you're going to find the, our course, which is going to look like this, Fall Sci 101. Okay, so even if you're in Section 102, you're going to click on the 101. You're not going to see a 102 section. This does not affect the classroom time. If you're in the 930 class, you come to the 930 class. If you're in the 1230 class, you come to the 1230 class. Um, so we're going to click here. And then you're going to see, um, you get taken right away to the announcements. So whenever there's an announcement to, um, to access, that's the first thing you're going to see when you log into the course. So you'll see here, um, important course policies. Uh, no late work is accepted. You're responsible for managing your time so that you can complete your work. Um, there is no extra credit. The uh, unit exams, and there are three of those, and the final exam must be taken on the scheduled day. There are no early exams and incomplete grades will not be given. So those are just um, key policies, um, pretty standard, um, but I wanted to make sure you saw those right away. The way um, everything works on this course all lives over here on these green buttons. Okay, So let's start over here. YC Support Resources. If you click here, this is going to take you to the, the TELS, uh, T-E-L-S, Teaching and E-Learning Support. Um, here you can click here on Student Support for um, help with using Blackboard. You can also click here to go to the Student Orientation for Online Learning. Um, this will be available to you all semester. And you can also stop by TELS. Um, they are both on the Verde campus and um, on the Prescott campus. If you need to shoot me an email, um, do it right here. Make sure you are polite and you tell me um, who you are and what your question is. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, this is announcements, which is exactly where we are right here. So the first big thing is the syllabus. So if you click on the syllabus button, you'll see the file right here. This is a PDF. So when you click here, it's going to download as a PDF. You do need Adobe Reader, which is a free um, uh, piece of software for you to access a PDF, but all computers, all platforms can access that. Um, you, I will hand a syllabus out in class, but in case you lose it, know that there is one posted in the course. And then the, these are some slides about me, um, just to introduce myself to you a little bit. Down here, our course schedule, same thing. This is a PDF. This will tell you all of the due dates, the reading assignments, when the quizzes are due, um, everything you ever needed to know um, about our course for the fall lives right here. And I will, again, hand this out in class, but you may lose it, and if you do, it's right here. So one of the first things you're going to have to do is uh, complete a syllabus quiz. Um, you're going to have to do the syllabus quiz by Mon uh, I'm sorry, by Sunday, by midnight on Sunday, August 24th. Um, if you don't complete the syllabus quiz by Sunday, um, you will be withdrawn from the course. So to do that, you want to click right here on syllabus quiz, and then click here, and this is going to take you into the syllabus quiz. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory once you get in there. Are Ten questions and um, it'll go right to my grade book and you won't have to worry about this again. Um, there are homework quizzes for every single unit that we do in the course. Um, these are open book. They're done outside of class on your own time. 
you have two opportunities to complete the, the quiz, um, and you'll have about two weeks before the deadline to complete the quiz, but it will not be accepted late. Um, so here's what that looks like. When you click on homework quizzes, um, you're not going to see these right here because they're not available yet, but you'll be able to see your research methods quiz, creativity and the brain homework quiz. Both of these are due um, on August the 31st, and they are open a couple weeks before they're due. You can complete them at any time prior to the deadline. Once the deadline passes, again midnight on that Sunday, um, the link goes away, so it is actually impossible for you to submit the work late. Um, all of these details and due dates are here on your course schedule, um, so you won't be able to fall behind. There will also be um, an announcement that uh, Blackboard will send to you when the test is available for you, and that's going to be approximately two weeks before it is due. Um, so you can work a little bit ahead, but you can't work crazy far ahead. Um, your vocabulary list is right here. Okay, the master vocabulary list. This is vocabulary words for all of our units. Um, you will be having pop vocab quizzes um, during the class time, not every class. Um, it will be in the beginning of class, so getting to class on time is very important. Um, this makes up uh, part of your final grade, um, but everything will be pulled from these master lists. I will hand one of these out in class as well, um, but just so you know, you can always find it right here. Um, pop quizzes are not able to be made up. Um, research methods. So this is a unit that is not in our book. Um, Dr. Nicole Wilson, some of you may have already had classes with her. She's done um, a couple great lectures, one on the scientific method and one on research methods, um, and you'll be able to watch those right here. These are the handouts um, and the slides from those two presentations. Um, and this is where you will get the information that you need in order to complete the homework quiz for research methods. Same thing with creativity in the brain. This is a unit that is not in our book. We're going to be handling that first to kind of set the tone. Um, for the class and help you guys um, start to access your creativity and, and believe in um, all of the cool things that you're capable of um, right away. So the reading assignment is here. This is again a PDF. Um, you can print it or you can read it on the screen. Um, I will not be handing this out. So this will only be an online um, uh, thing that you read. And the slides for the lectures um, for the couple days we'll be talking about this are here. Every single unit that we do um, has some PowerPoint slides attached to them. Um, they are all saved as PDFs and attached here in the Blackboard course, and I'll show you where all of those are. Um, and then Death and Dying, this is another unit that is not in our textbook. Um, the required reading is here. This is a PDF. You can download it um, or read it on screen. And then the lecture slides from our class discussion are here. So moving along here to Unit 1. Unit 1 includes the creativity slides, Okay, so and that reading assignment is right here. And then the first four chapters from our Adjust textbook. This is a mandatory textbook, um, and we will be using it pretty soon after the start of the semester. So all of the slides from what we're going to be going over are here, so you don't have to necessarily worry about writing down all the slides in class. You can just pay attention and listen, engage in the conversation, um, knowing that these are going to be here for you to go back and review. Um, I've also reposted Dr. Wilson's lecture on research methods and the scientific method uh, here as well. So unit one um, will be the first unit that we will have um, an exam on, and the syllabus and the course schedule has that date. Same thing with unit two, there'll be an exam that's just on unit two, and there'll be an exam that's just on unit three, and then there'll be a comprehensive final um, at the end of the semester. So unit two, these are the slides for that, chapter six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. Unit three, chapter 13, 15, and the death and dying slides, again, the reading for death and dying is right here. Solution Exploration. So this is your writing assignment for class, and this is due in November right before Thanksgiving. Um, the due date is on the syllabus and on the course schedule. Under this button contains everything you need to know about this assignment. Um, I will be spending about half a class period, um, in about four weeks, going over this paper. Um, and once you get the hang of, of school in general and um, an idea about the class, and um, yeah, I think we'll have more to talk about um, later on. But here's a video for attaching um, for how to attach the assignment to the assignment link, and I will again go over this. Um, this is where you will submit your paper. Um, this is the assignment and the assessment rubric. Um, again, here this is the paper assignment, so this is the exact same thing right here and right here. 
worksheet help for the paper. So this is a really, really handy tool for helping you complete the paper. Um, and then the assessment rubric, which is how I will be grading the paper, is right here. So there will be a classroom discussion on this uh, later on in the semester. It is not due until November, so you don't have to worry about it right now. I just want you to know that it does live, everything about it lives right here under Solution Exploration. Um, this journal workbook, I'm going to be handing out um, various handouts over this semester for things we're going to be doing in class. They all come from this Personal Explorations workbook. We're not going to be using everything out of it, but I thought some of you might like to have the whole thing um, at your fingertips if you like. So this is um, available for you. TED Talks. We're going to be watching some of these in class um, and not others, but I'm just kind of gathering really cool things that I found um, that I think apply to um, the focus of our class and introduction to psychology in general, um, living a more creative life, um, adapting to change, various things that... Um, that we all kind of have to live with um, and that are real foundational uh, concepts in our intro course here. And then this view grades button allows you to check where you are in the class um, in terms of grade at any time. The syllabus has the breakdown of points and all that kind of good stuff. So I think that is all the main uh, things about how to navigate the course. Key things, syllabus, course schedule, Syllabus quiz, first week of class by Sunday, August 24th. Homework quizzes all live here. They are all due um, Sundays at midnight, and those Sundays are all listed under the course schedule. Um, reading materials for Creativity in the Brain and Death and Dying live right here. Nicole Wilson's um, lectures on research methods and the scientific method are here. And then the slides for our units are here. Your writing assignment paper lives here. Um, and those are the main things. Um, class attendance is mandatory. This is an on-ground class. We meet twice a week, either Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30 or Tuesday, Thursday at 12.30. Um, I do begin class on time. And the um, vocabulary quizzes that are pop quizzes, big surprises, will always take place in the very first five to ten minutes of class uh, when they occur. So if you're late, you missed it. Um, that is pretty much all um, for now. Um, I cannot wait to meet you guys, um, and I look forward to working with you this semester. Um, take good care.